Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 Ultimate Team Gameplay where we have Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders on our hands. I, I just couldn't, I was like, you know what, before I stop playing Mutt for the rest of the year, I, I the curiosity was killing me, alright? I had, the curiosity kills the cat, you know what they say, I had to get Barry, man, I had to try him out for a few games. So, we got Barry on the first play of the game, Colin Kaepernick does his own Barry Sanders impression, hitting the juke move on two people, hurtling, and Colin Kaepernick is going, going, and gone. I wanted to play with Barry, man, this dude, now we're playing defense, I can't play with Barry, and we should have gotten the pick there, but, um... It was dropped. And I'm not going to show every single play on defense because this is more about Barry Sanders than anything else. But, hey, we got Barry Sanders. So, me playing with Barry is this dude tries to run the screen pass. And, um, by the way, we also have a really good offensive line for Barry since um, route combo was giving away the offensive line. And the person who won the giveaway for the offensive line went on vacation for like a week. So, I still had the car sitting around. So, like, you know what? Why not give Barry an all-99 offensive line? And we'll see if that can help him get any extra yards. So, now we got our Barry back on offense. Can't really do much there because one thing about playing what ultimate legend barry sanders is especially in the all madden first string you also got like 99 overall teams all over the place you know you got like terrell suggs and deacon jones and all kinds of crazy cards out there so you know barry has his match you may have a 102 speed barry but then there's also 94 speed von miller and a 92 speed patrick willis out there you know but um barry definitely showed his speed there that was meant to be a run the touchdown he got I accidentally called the passing play, and Barry, I just threw it to him. I was about to get sacked, and I ended up getting away with it. So that was cool. And you see me, I'm, I'm like, reading these plays pretty well with my um Calvin Johnson, but I keep on messing up, like, debates and all that because, like, I haven't played the Xbox One in forever. I kept on playing all the team plays. Like, I mentioned before, I played a lot of team play, and look at this. That's the result. And now Calvin's just too fast, man. I, I read that play perfectly, but I was just, you know, too fast. Once again, I don't even know what the hell happened there. I read the screen perfectly. I somehow didn't end up with the pick so i um, mean eventually we're gonna have to capitalize on one of those but um yeah it's a little bit of a difference to get used to and then i was just playing all screwing up you know and here third down 13 i don't know how this dude gets it but i'm fourth and one he's going for it not qb sneaking it and that's a mistake throwing that sticker out because sean taylor's on it lifting the leg and accelerating and sean taylor the 30 the 20 the 10 the 5 and the end zone but unfortunately we actually get the touchdown there which means we're back on defense so we can't play with barry like, i'm trying to play with barry sanders not colin kaepernick and sean taylor thankfully charles woodson's got my back he gets the pick and he gets down so let's bring ultimate legend barry sanders back on the field so um yeah one thing i noticed about the barry sanders is like i mentioned before all these fast players it's hard to get a gauge of how good he might be because one those players and two Barry might actually be a little bit too fast for his own good. I like running these power plays, and sometimes, you know, you have to wait for the blocks to get set up as we throw a nice pass in the middle of, well, to the right side of the field there to um, go and take a thinner in. But um, Barry just too fast sometimes. And here, we don't need blocks. We just run a counter, and Barry Sanders uses his speed to get, catch the edge. Now, that's the speed of Barry right there. He's shown it twice at the goal line of all places. The, um, the crazy acceleration as well. That acceleration might be more important than the speed in that situation. But, um... Yeah, it's kind of hard to gauge. I mean, that's just the product of Mutt. You have the um, fast offensive player, but the defensive players also got really, really good. So, I mean, it's not as much of an advantage as you would think of. I think it would, I think more of an advantage would be having that Thanksgiving Barry Sanders in November than having an Ultimate Legend Barry in June or July. You know what I mean? Well, actually, I think it came out in July. So, July, we'll say. I think, I think that's the gist of what I got from when I was playing this. Now, I didn't have the um, Thanksgiving Barry until, like, May or something. But I'm just saying, I think... That it would be more advantage to have that at that time because um his speed compared to defensive player speed um in Thanksgiving time would have been completely different. It would have blown him out the water, you know? As somehow he makes this catch. I probably should have thrown it to X there. I was locked onto Barry and Barry bailed me out, so that's all good. And here we run a half back pass, throwing it up. Oh you know, man, I definitely could take it off. I'm like, no, let's see what let's see what you can do with the, your arm, Barry, but um Let's just keep Barry to, you know, groundwork. That's what he's good at. Here, we run a screen pass, hit the spin move there, try to avoid some people. We don't get the first down. Fourth and six, I'm like, you know what, Barry? Take the handoff. Do what you can do. And this is what I'm talking about. I ran into, I believe, Steve Hutchinson there, and that cost me the first down. Or else, if I was just able to follow the block, I probably would have been able to follow him into the first down sticks. Instead, you know, that bumped me backward. And that happened a few times. I would have run into my offensive lineman because Barry was you now accelerating like, a beast out there it's too good he's just too good that's a review he's a little bit too good for his own good man i <laughs> you know i mean if you can get the card get the card you know i mean i'm not for like a 1.5 million or whatever it's worth but i mean 
If you get your hands in it, that's all good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just a little bit too good for its own good. Check it out. I'm running into people. And now this time we're trying to accelerate. But like I said, once again, you got those fast guys like a Brian um, Dawkins out there that's going to catch you. But nonetheless, it's a really, really good card, you know? I mean, it's, it is what it is. So um, anyways, I mean, this is the last time I'm playing Mutt before Mutt 15. So this is like... This I, I think I have three gameplays of Barry Sanders. I'm giving you guys that. And then on to Mutt 15. You know, that's going to be some fun as well. We're going to have the over, overalls lower back. You won't have, like, all these 99s roaming all over the place. So, it's going to be cool to see that. It's going to be... I never played Mutt without all these high overall cards. I started playing Mutt when, um... There were 99s littered all over the place. Uh, there's only a few 99s, but there was quite a few 90 plus overall cards. That was, um... Before the playoff cards came out. I was, like, road to the playoff stuff, so... Um... It'll, it'll be cool to see how Mutt operates with, like, 70-something overalls all over the place. And then those, like, few 99 or 90-something overall legends out there, you know, like, 95. So, yeah. And this is a second game, by the way. I didn't mention it. We're just going to show a second game here just so we can get a little bit more Barry. Once again, not showing all of the defensive plays because, um... You know, it's not really necessary to. As third and six, we throw a two Barry at the backfield. Wish Barry could have stayed on his feet, but at least he got the first down. That was what was most important on that play. As you see, we just said throw it at the pocket there. And once again, just trying to take advantage of Barry all we can. Trying to run a little bit of read option, but unfortunately, Collins got to take that one. But third down 13, we throw the out route to uh, Demarius Thomas, so that's all good. Next play, I think we ran hurry up, throw the curl route to Calvin. And I didn't even expect this play to score it. Oh, that was a move the chains play. Next of all, you know, Calvin accelerates like an ultimate legend Barry at the backfield. And Calvin nearly gets the pick there on the screen pass. Once again, should have named my team the Megatrons a long time ago. I also should have chained my jersey a long time ago. By the way, oh, the ball, man. Eh, he might be a little bit mad. And um, not to make things better for him, forward down he throws a pick to Calvin. I pretty much figured he was going to that same exact route. So this time I was going to cover it. And I covered it. So, um. Yeah, that's pretty good to have Sean Taylor, by the way. Sean Taylor, he will cover your ass. I'm not the biggest fan of Sean Taylor. Like, some people are, like, extremely crazy. By the way, this play was definitely the defining play of Barry Sanders is too fast. Like, well, I could just not just follow him, but just be able to swerve around him to the outside. I probably would have been good for a touchdown. Instead, I would just too fast and ran to Finneran. Maybe I need to play a few more games to get adjusted to his amazing speed. I don't know, but, um... That's what it was, but um, yeah, Sean Taylor. He, I'm not too crazy about him, like a lot of people, but um, one thing he does give you is hit power over the middle of the field. So sometimes someone will catch a pass in the middle. Sean Taylor will just knock it right out of them. So it's definitely good to have a Sean Taylor. And by the way, I should have changed my jerseys, but I just, I don't know, I just I'm too lazy. I don't remember oh to change jerseys for the game. So I still have these Browns jerseys, even though Johnny Manziel or no Browns player in sight is around. As once again, I was trying to bait that, but I missed it. So. Um, yeah, definitely horrible by me, but thankfully Von Miller's got my back on the sack there. And then third down of 15, this is the game ender. Look at how high Calvin went to get that pick, man. Oh, man, that Calvin's fun to play with. Three interceptions by Calvin, and one of them was a pick six. And that ends up doing it for this guy. He's out. So, hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 25 Ultimate Team gameplays and all that, and I will catch you guys next time.